welcome back to a new video. As you can tell by the title, today I'm bringing you a nap time clean with me. And today's video is in collaboration with the busy Ruby here on YouTube. She's a busy mum of two beautiful kitties and she makes cleaning, decluttering, organisation and much more homemaking style videos just like me. So make sure you check her out once you finish watching this video. You're going to absolutely love her videos just like I do. I'll be linking all her info in the description box below, so make sure you check her out and let her know that I sent you. So I'm starting out today's clean by doing a bit of the washing up. Devon normally naps for about an hour, so I've got to rush and get as much done as I can. Um, but yeah, I'm just clearing off what was on the draining board and then I'm using this Method dish soap, which I absolutely love. I really love the pump bottle and it also smells like clementine, which is just gorgeous. dishwasher and I honestly spend most of my life here at the sink washing dishes all day every day. drying everything and putting the dishes away. glasses and dishes and I don't know I find that the less I have the less washing up I have to do I don't know it works for me oh and I thought I'd show you that I sort of organized my under the sink cupboard I'm pretty proud of that <laughs> And now I'm grabbing my Method all-purpose cleaner and this is in the scent Grapefruit and it's gorgeous. I've been using it for about two weeks now and I love it. And with that I just give all of my surfaces a bit of a spritz and wipe them all down. I absolutely love these tunes, but obviously I know it's not everybody's taste So let me know in the comments if you'd rather I put something more like upbeat and housey uh, But yeah, just let me know <laughs> I 
always include the oven because I feel like when I do this, it doesn't really build up so much, so cleaning it's pretty easy. I look so cat candid in this clip because our microwave door opens like towards you which is so, so annoying. I wish that I had thought of that when we bought the microwave. down in the kitchen, I like to give the sink a good scrub. On all of my cleaning videos I love to put disinfectant in the sink with boiling water that's why I boiled the kettle earlier um, and then I just disinfect the cleaning cloth and the sponges and whatnot and then I just took the bins out and to clean the bin I, I like to use these Proforce um, disinfectant wipes uh, that way I can just throw the wipe straight in the bin after I'm done with it and then when I'm finished wiping out the inside I always like to spray this disinfectant spray And I finish up the kitchen by giving it a little bit of a sweep and a mop. Ah, uh, nothing better than a clean kitchen and I give it 10 minutes before one of us starts making food or something and it gets dirty again. But it is so nice while it lasts. <laughs> I've just got some washing that was, uh, that's been airing on the era for a couple of days. So this is my spare room. I'm just gonna sort all of that washing out. bittersweet when he wakes up from his nap. Bitter because no more alone time, but sweet because he's so sweet. Tyler 
thought it was about time to teach him how to wash his own car, so that's what they're doing now. obsessed with the way I fold my knickers and she's always telling me to show you guys on YouTube how to do it so this is basically how I do it um, if you want it more like in depth then comment down below and I can do it a little bit more in depth but yeah that's how I fold them and it's really nice because they are just these little balls of knickers and they're really organized and yeah I have a mixture of water and my favourite comfort fabric softener and this is my favourite thing to do to finish off a room is I'll just spritz it all over the linen and it makes it smell amazing. And then I'm popping some jasmine essential oil into my diffuser. This is my favourite smell, it reminds me of Spain. Oh, I love it so much. <coughs> so this little guy is now awake as you can tell. He is quite a handful, so I'm going to stop cleaning now, but I am very um, happy with what I got done. Um, and then he has two naps in the day, so for his second nap, um, I'll probably get like wet, you know, our bedroom done or something like that. But um, yeah, that's it for the first nap. He was only down for like an hour. He wants the camera. Sorry, Bubby, you can't have it. <laughs> Okay, so since Devon woke up from his nap early and I didn't get to clean too much, I thought I'd do a grocery haul because we just got back from the shop and um, we did quite a big shop. So I'll just show you what we got for our family. Hey, Bubby. Okay, so we got two corns, um, some asparagus, coriander. We got some little oranges for Devon, um, a green pepper, some mini bananas, three pack of garlics, um, some berries, we've got blueberries and strawberries. Strawberries are in season at the moment, so they're really nice, big and juicy. Uh, and then I'll go back here. So we got Devon's um, formula, which is Nan Comfort 3. Uh, and then we got a big thing of water. Uh, oh, I don't know where to, okay, I'll go this way. And then also for Devon, we got these little gingerbread men, which are so yummy. And he hasn't had these before, little quacker rice biscuits, um, but he chose those. So those are snacks and also some little puffs and I don't know what they are, soft corn and these things that we normally get. We also got him some yogurts. These are the Rafferty's Garden. He got the peach and mango, the strawberry, Oh, just those two flavours. Oh, and a banana as well. And then some bluey custards. So strawberry custard and chocolate custard. And then we got some little fruit pots. Uh, I like to keep these as like a just in case in the cupboard, just in case we run out of like fresh fruit. And raspberry jelly as a treat. I then picked up another Method dish soap. This was on sale, so I got it now because mine's almost out. I got some black chia seeds and some cacao powder because we're going to start um, having overnight oats. We got four tins, oh no, three tins of diced tomatoes and a tin of sweet corn. We got bread, this is the white bread, the one, this is the yummiest one that they have that's white. Um, this oat milk, I found an oat milk that I really like but they didn't have it in Woolworths, only Coles and we were at Woolworths so I got this one but it's also a barista one, I don't know, um, hopefully that's nice. I got some um, almond milk for our overnight oats and also some Greek yogurt for those. Uh, I got some Dodge Gusto coffee pods, uh, these were half price 
big 30 pack of Coke. Uh, Tyler drinks Coke, so we got those. And then for the dog, we got this big bag of uh, dog pellets. And then we got heaps of packets of like, these are livers, we got hearts, um, giblets, all chicken offal, whatever you call it. We got some maize meal, this is so that I can make pup, um, which is like a South African thing. We got for snacks, some salt and vinegar crisps and some chili ones, peanut M&Ms and some Doritos. Tasty cheese, shredded cheese. We got these little packets of pasta, which we like to have in the cupboard. So Alfredo and Oriental fried rice. Ooh, Tyler chose those. Uh, a bottle of bleach, because mine is almost out. Two packets of um, tortillas, because we eat Mexican food all the time. Two packets of penne pasta. Um, some rolled oats for the overnight oats. And then I saw these on sale, $5.90 for this one, $6. So these are like, this is chicken schnitzels with basil, sun-dried tomato and pesto stuffing. Um, I like things like this because they're easy, you can just chuck them in the oven. So I'm gonna uh, just chuck these in the freezer. Uh, there's also chicken ticker and that was only $3. So why not make my life easier? And then for meat, we got a bulk pack of chicken breasts, shortcut bacon, some pork loin steaks, some rump steaks, and some lamb four quarter chops. So, that is everything that we got. And in case you're interested in how much it came to, it came to 292 dollars and 54 cents. So that is what we got. So now I'm going to pack all of this away and then think about dinner. I think we're gonna have steak uh, for dinner because Tyler said he's fancy in steak. We've had chicken for the past like three, four nights or something because that was all we had um, left in the freezer. So yeah. I didn't realize that I hadn't actually closed off this video. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. And also make sure you remember to check out the Busy Reeb. I'll leave her information down below. But yes, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.